here in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The aerospace business of major Canadian group Bombardier believes it has aircrafts that meet South Africa's needs. Keith Campbell reports. Bombardier publicly displayed its interest in the South African market at last month's Danelle Aerospace Maritime and Defence Conference. The company is especially promoting its special mission aircraft. Bombardier Africa Middle East and Turkey Sales Director of Specialized Aircraft and Government Sales, Kamel Shrur, explains. Bombardier Specialized Aircraft leverages all of Bombardier's six aircraft platforms and 14 derivatives to add special equipment uh, to meet specific mission requirements for departments of defense, navies and air forces and governments around the world. Uh, today we have over 40 uh, government customers and over 300 missionized aircraft that are flying around the world. Our customers range from various coast guards and uh, navies and air forces in, uh, in Europe, North America, uh, Asia Pacific, Africa and the Middle East. We do have a global customer base. Some examples of uh, some of our more popular uh, programs would be uh, the uh, Astor program with the Royal Air Force in the UK, as well as the Bacon program with the uh, US Air Force. So our specialized aircraft uh, solutions include maritime patrol aircraft, search and rescue aircraft, firefighting capability, um, research and development, flight inspection, troop transport, cargo transport, uh, special government VIP, and a wide variety of other mission uh, systems that we can install on our platforms. Today we are making, um, we are evaluating the general requirements in the South African uh, market. We believe that there is a very strong potential for our solutions here in South Africa. Uh, discussions, um, the requirement ranges from uh, maritime patrol to VIP to firefighting basically a wide variety of our solutions have uh, very uh, prominent potential here. Uh, Bombardier is uh, the world's only plane and train manufacturer. We are the third largest civil aircraft manufacturer and the largest train manufacturer. And here in South Africa we're present in both of those divisions, as well as from our discussions here at the conference over the past couple of days, uh, there is a strong demand and interest in our specialized aircraft platforms here in South Africa. So we're very proud to be here and you will see more of Bombardier here in South Africa. Other news making headlines this week. Banks offer up 12 billion in Transnet deal. Weak demand is not the only cause of fall off in load shedding. And ESCOM expects a tariff clawback to cover a big portion of its 2016 funding gap. Transnet has announced the successful conclusion of a 12 billion rand club loan with five of the country's major financial institutions. Today uh, we're here to sign um, a momentous um, uh, club loan agreement with uh, five key financial institutions uh, in order for us to further our goal of um, catapulting South Africa uh, as a leading uh, supply chain um, uh, uh, country, making sure that um, um, the companies in South Africa uh, can actually compete uh, on various supply chains in terms of global markets. Um, the participants in this loan, which was uh, concluded uh, with each fund separately but on the same uh, commercial terms, are uh, APSA uh, at uh, 3 billion rand, NetBank. Uh, 3 billion rand, uh, Bank of China at 3 billion rand, Future Growth at uh, 1.5 billion rand, and Old Mutual Finance um, at 1.5 billion rand. ESCOM insisted that the performance of its generation fleet was on an improving trend, rebuffing arguments that its ability to avoid load shedding was primarily the result of sharply lower demand from industry. There has been reports that um, the reason we do not have load shedding is as a result of uh, reduced demand because of slow economic growth. But uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, 2014, uh, this is the demand profile in 2014, 
2013. 2014 is the green line. 2014 is the uh, purple line. And the this big brown block or this line here represents 2015. Uh, the statement is true somewhat, but we only had reduced demand in the weeks 43 to 45 or maybe even 44 to 46 uh, and we see demand picking up again uh, uh, but generally the demand profile has been the same and in fact we see it increasing escom says it should end its current financial year with a cash balance of between 10 billion and 15 billion rand and that its liquidity outlook for 2016 2017 financial year has also improved if we look at uh, the new financial year, I think um, given the fact that we will end the year with about a 15 billion cash balance, the 47 billion funding requirement for next year basically reduces to around 30. We have the RCA, if uh, successfully concluded, that will contribute quite significantly to the balance of the funding requirement. Um, we also have uh, the Duva claim that we've spoken about that uh, could also be liquidated. Um, there is a private placement of about 10 billion that we've already concluded for next year as well. Um, so from that perspective, I think the, the organization is very well positioned from a liquidity perspective for, this fund, for the rest of this financial year as well as the next financial year. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.